good morning. Rise and shine Wednesday morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chi Gang. I'm here, I'm here, just opening the window. Can't teach you gone without nice fresh air, can we now? Right. Good morning, everybody. Just get some sauces. Right, let's get a few props. Going to use these this morning. Going to have a little talk about some bath crystals later on. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Jules. Good morning, Catherine. Jules and Catherine are here to answer any specifics. Anything at all. Let's just start with some shaking whilst we wait for everybody to join. Please open a window. Good morning, everybody. Now, Jules, can you please make sure you do some suitably ridiculous screen grabs this morning? Uh, we need to make sure that we've got some crazy women. <laughs> we need some crazy women shots this morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's just start with just a little bit of shaking whilst we wait for everyone to get into the room and join the class. And then we will go. Oh, thank you. I know. Well, I was wearing these at the beginning of lockdown and then they sort of got hot. And so then I stopped wearing them. Now it's got cold again. So back we go. Om and ah, these are by. And the hairband, can I just say, was sent in by one of the lovely ladies uh, who's got a very small little brand that she's just growing. Uh, which does like jewellery and hair pieces and things like that. So we've put it up onto the stories. So do please have a look and follow because the lifeblood of the new age is us all following people who are trying to make a difference and trying to create small little businesses. And it's hard enough as it is. So let's support each other because it's a nice thing to do. Right. Good morning, everyone. Right. Let's get some shaking going on. Now, I've had some lovely messages yesterday. Well, every day we get lovely messages, but I was reading a lot of them last night. And just to say, if you're in the older section, if you're more senior and you're not so well and you're not feeling great, and you're sort of, you know, your body's a little bit fragile, you know, don't leap about the way I am, okay? I'm full of chi, um, and so I can kind of like leap myself around quite a lot. But when I wasn't well, which is what led me into this, you know, I could barely get out of bed, I could barely move. So you've got to take this class or any of the advice that I'm giving you, kind of, we've got to use a little bit of common sense. If the body is, is senior or fragile or both, you've got to go gently, okay? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You work with the breath, you work with vibration, you work with intention. There's a lot of healing intention through this class. And just take your time. We don't need to whack the body. We don't need to go berserk, okay? But on the other hand, if you're at the more sort of like, sort of um, stronger end of things, then you can push out. And the idea of this class is in the, more, in the beginning, it's very much about purging, okay? I'm getting you to get rid. That's what we're doing for the first sort of three, four exercises. Once we get to the laughter, once we've done that bit, we go much more into a gentle flow, okay? And that's the intention of the class because we've got to be very dynamic at the beginning, which is when I go crazy woman, okay? On purpose, because we're trying to get rid of trauma, okay? If anyone's here for weight loss, Jules and I don't like the term, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use it until I can come up with something better. Um, if you're doing this because you, you're trying to get yourself into, some, in, into a shape and you're not happy about things, I just want to say this one thing, it's not fat, it's trauma, okay? Calories in versus calories out. Old school, 20th century, load of rubbish, doesn't work, get rid of it, okay? It's trauma, we've gotta get rid of the trauma, We've got to get some lovely, healthy, nourishing food into your body. And we've got to get that energy, that life force surging through the body. And that is what Qigong is all about. Life force practice. Strong body, full of marbles. You get to choose. This is what most of us feel like before we start. This is what we're going to get you to and beyond. Okay, I've run out of marbles. Jules, we need more marbles. I need a full jar. That's what we're aiming for, okay? Most of us are cracked and exhausted over here, not feeling great. Okay, and by doing this class, we're putting marbles in that jar every day, every day. These low level signs and symptoms start to just disappear. We're nurturing the garden of the body. Okay, that's what we're doing in this class. So, right, now we're all here. Let's start shaking because the first step to getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you, anything that happened yesterday, let's get rid of anything that happened yesterday and anything that's happened in the past, okay? We're gonna let go because if your body doesn't need it then, it, then it's basically taking up room. It's just like wardrobes, okay? You know, if you've got old clothes in there that you just don't wear anymore, you've got no room to put the new stuff in. The Taoist masters would say, you cannot fill an already full cup. Jules, can we get that into one of our quotes, please, to go into the health section? It's one of the great things we say all the time. You cannot fill an already full cup. If you're full of stuff, and you're lugging it about in your body. First of all, it's negative. So it's gonna take the charge. This is, we're charging you up right now. We're making you strong. 
But if you've got negative energy inside the body, it's going to pull it down, okay? It's going to make you weak. Get rid of it. We don't want it. We're going to get rid of it together, okay? Get rid of it. And then, with the lovely space that you're going to create by doing these lovely exercises, and it's fun, because we're going to laugh, and you're going to laugh at crazy woman Brindle over here, making you do it. Good morning, Danielle. I've just seen you pop up. Good morning, good morning. So once you've got rid of it, then you have space. And then what we're going to do with the space is we're going to fill it. Danielle and I are doing a live feed this evening, by the way. Split live. Yoga expert, Qigong expert. That's us. The ladies, we've got it all, we've got it all covered between the two of us. You cannot fill an already full space, okay? We've got to empty it out of all the stuff we don't need anymore. Anything that doesn't serve us, any old rubbish that happened yesterday, get rid of it. And then we're going to fill it all through with our higher selves, with lovely, positive charged, laughter infused, endorphin rich chi, okay? Which we're going to then send all around our body and we're going to leave this class feeling absolutely tip top, okay? We're going to feel ready for the day ahead ready to cope with whatever gets flown at us. Remember, what you do today is gonna to show in your body tomorrow. So we're gonna start all over again in the morning. <laughs> and little by little, we are gonna get our bodies and our life force strong together. And Jules and Catherine will help you with the details. Fact sheets are coming. There's 18 of them apparently. We're not gonna dump them all on you all at once. We're gonna spread them out, but they are on their way. And in the meantime, Jules and Catherine know how to help you now vibrate. If you can, if you just need to bob, that's okay. But if you can, let's really get our shake on. Shake, let's let go, let go. Shake. See, I've forgotten to shake my adhesion because it's practically gone. You see, that's the other thing about bodies. It's quite useful to write down what's wrong with you at the beginning. Because what happens is you forget. <laughs> and you really do. Oh. Just have a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. Now, crazy woman breathing, Jules, here we come. Right, ready? Right, we're gonna breathe in. We're gonna really think that we're doing that New Zealand rugby dance thing that they do, okay? We are gonna get out this evil energy. We don't want it in the body. So we're gonna do it with the breath to start with. Breathe in. Drum. Another one. Right. Take your tapper or use a loosely clenched fist or a combination of the two. I actually like using both. Quite like my hands on my tummy. Now, here on in, having done those big out breaths, we breathe into the lower dantian here. We've already created a space by getting rid of that stale air. This is the Chinese inner smile breath. You're just gonna breathe in down here. This is where we're breathing. Let's get Oscar into the mix. Keep breathing guys, keep tapping. Here's Oscar and his willy, but here. This is the Dantian, okay? There, right there. This is where we breathe. If you breathe here, all that energy goes all the way around the body. That's what we're looking for. So. And that's the nature of the relaxation aspect of the class. This class will leave you relaxed yet energised. That's the name of the game. That's why you've got me leaping around in front of you going, come on, because we're going to get rid of everything that's pulling down the negativity of the body and we're going to relax the body. Right, so we're going to breathe and smile. The Mona Lisa smile, I think, is finally going up today. I hope, I hope. The Mona Lisa smile do it all day long. It lifts, it lifts, it lifts. It stops things getting saggy and baggy. It starts with the jowls and the lips and it goes down to our boobs and then it, or our moobs if we're men and then it goes down and down. Keep it on and it goes, lift it. Okay, and we start this morning. This is the good intentions. We're all doing it together. Breathe and smile. We're gonna tap, tap, tap. What we do in this class is we're getting the general energy of the body sorted out. Generally getting things fixed up. Oh, that's good, they're doing the garden, hurrah. Right. Hopefully that won't bother you too much with the machines going on outside. Breathe. So important to drum the abdomen. 
sit down way too much. The digestive organs get starved of blood in the stress response. The stress response takes the circulation away from the peripheral organs. The peripheral organs are the digestive system and the skin. And it whacks it into the muscles for fight or flight, which means it makes you tense, means you can't digest your food properly, means your skin goes dry and flaky and starts getting issues, acne, psoriasis, eczema, dry patches, chicken skin, freckles, all sorts of things. Not that there's anything wrong with any of that, but that's what happens. You need to get the blood. Reset, this tapo is the reset part of the Hey You Method because we're resetting the blood. We're getting it back where it needs to be, all the way through, circulating around the circulatory systems, the lymph is now moving through the fascia, the immune cells can flow smoothly, you're energizing the stem cells deep in the long bones of the body. Breathe, allow the oxygen to come into the body, breathe. You've created space by doing crazy women things at the beginning. Sorry, crazy people. Crazy people things at the beginning. Now let's get that blood and circulation moving and oxygenating. Tap, tap, tap. Really good for cellulite. Really good for getting your wobbly bits sorted out whilst the sun starts to come out. Down the outside of the legs. Up the inside. It's invigorating. One minute of this. You can't do the class. Just do one minute of this. If you're doing this on elderly people, just please go gently like this. This, if you're not well, this. I'm whacking myself, I'm very strong. I've got a very spleeny body. <laughs> it needs a good whacking, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> but you know the measure of where you are in your healing journey, okay? You know where you are. If you're in bed right now, not feeling it, this is not how hard you should be pressing, okay? We go lightly. Lightly and for longer periods of time. Gently, gently and slow. But this is the morning class. We're invigorating right now. Let's get that blood moving all over. Now, when you're dealing with wobbly bits, you want to go all, if it's cellulite, you want to go all the way down the leg, okay? Because the channels of the body don't just stop because you've got some fat cells there, okay? The fat cells gather in certain areas of the body, but these lower limbs, they're called the command points. It's very important to energize and stimulate them. They're on the same channels. Tap your feet. Hang on. Really important. Your kidney points down here, liver points, spleen points. Invigorate, invigorate. Tap the ankles. Tell, always tap your joints. Tap the knees. Tap the backs of the knees. The lower calves. We were doing plantar fasciitis yesterday. Notice how stimulating that feels. Draw in the breath, breathe. The lower calves are really good for the body. We do loads of acupuncture around the lower calves for back pain, stress, energy. It's all to do with the bladder and the kidney meridians. They're to do with the batteries of the body. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Five minutes of tapping a day will make a massive difference to how you feel. You can feel it. It's like brushing your teeth. It feels amazing. Then you get going, having done your knees, go around the knees, they're the water points of the body. A lot of heat often gets accumulated there, that's why knees start to go, so that heat starts to dry out the fluids, and then the cartilage starts to wear thin. Tap them, get that blood circulation, get that lymph fluid moving, get the synovial fluid in there. That's it, tap, 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 tap around the calves, tap around the knees, protect your joints, look after your body, prevent not cure. Remember, the body stays healthy by two basic concepts. Purge and nourish. Get rid of anything which doesn't serve you. And nourish with that which does. That's step one. Step two, free flow of chi and blood around the body. That is the basics. Jules, we need to get those up onto the uh, stories as well. Those two, centers, those two defining things. That is what we say every day. That's what we need to do. If there's something hurting you, it's because it's got stuck emotion okay normally pain 
I know most all of the stories that I'm reading for you is pain. I know it. I know I have it too. It's called being human and it hurts and it's hard. But also being human is community, altruism, compassion, thoughtfulness. We're working together in a community. Tap your head. And that's what's happening here. This is what's created during our lockdown. It just started with Jules and me doing our thing. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. One of us got to work from being in bed and one of us didn't. <laughs> but we couldn't do it without you, Jules, that's for sure. And then it grew and it grew. And what's happened is we've now got all you lovely people helping each other. Because you're all on different stages of the journey, you're the early adopters. Tap your head. So we help each other. That's also being human. We all because why? Because we have compassion. Because we all understand how awful it is. We know what it hurt, how it feels like. Right. And on that note, we are now gonna do proper crazy woman, okay? So now we've done some tapping. Let's just twist for a second. Whilst well, so I just talk and go into the crazy woman. Right, crazy woman Brindle, okay. I know 23 at the start, you see, so breathe. Now, I just wanna talk about pain for a minute because pain is what bonds us together as humans because we all suffer, okay? Every single person I know on this feed, there's 350 people right now, 352. Um, oh, no, 351. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to stop looking at that thing. It's too much because it's going up and it's gone up again now. <laughs> right. Uh, there's, there's about 350 people on this feed right now. And I know that if I opened up a clinic and spoke to every single one of you in turn, that everybody would be telling me about pain and suffering that they have gone through in their life. And some of it is absolutely horrendous. OK. And it hurts. It really hurts. It hurts our hearts. It hurts our breathing. It hurts our spleens and our digestions. It gets stored in fat cells, in joints. In, in nooks and crannies of the body or it floats around in the blood cells and it becomes toxic waste okay I know it hurts but we have to get rid of it and then we transcend it and that's the bit that's missing it's all very well getting it all out in the open and telling everyone everything but then you've got to do something with the space you don't just want to fill it with more of those feelings okay we have to transcend the feelings and come in with the light out of the darkness comes the light. That is the symbol of the yin yang symbol. It's the black with the white, with the light coming through it, okay? And that's what we're gonna do right now. So in order to do that, we have to go a bit crazy, okay? We've gotta get a bit like oomphy with the body because we've gotta shake it out, we've gotta get it out. It's stuck, okay? And then I'm gonna go all lovely and gentle and kind and then I'm gonna go back to being nice, Katie, again. So right now I'm gonna go crazy woman, okay? So ready for the crazy woman, okay? Jules, ready to take some pictures. Are we ready to purge? Yes, we are, right? So. Ready to purge, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Now, stomp, stomp, stomp. I need to kind of put some, it's the eye of the tiger. No, 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 that's not the right music. Boom, 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 boom. Right, marching, marching. Come on. Get it out. We're going to get it out. We're going to purge. We're going to purge. We're going to purge. And think this is the dynamic bit of the class, okay? We're just going to get it out. If anybody's done horrible, shitty, nasty, yucky things to you in your life and let you down and abused your trust and abused your body and abused your good nature, and it's all they, you've lost them and you're grieving and it's hurting anything, anyone that's hurt your heart or your liver or your lungs or your spleen, we're going to get rid of it right now. You're in a safe place. We're going to get rid of it. Get Chuck out all those clothes out of your wardrobe. You don't want any of it because we're going to fill it with light afterwards. So, ready to push. Right, boom. Right, chests, lungs, grief. Let go, let go. Anything that you're hanging on to that you don't need anymore, let go. You don't need it. It's gonna block your lungs, it's gonna suppress your breath. It's gonna stop you bringing fresh life force into your body so you don't need it. You have to let go because we're gonna bring in beautiful high resonating emotions after this. Let go, let go. Let go, 
right, that feels better. Right, heart. Purge, 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 purge. Anyone that's hurt your feelings, anybody that's hurt your heart, any heartache, any pain in your heart. Your left, your spleen, your left, your left, your spleen. I know you're laughing at me, I don't care, because I know it works. <laughs> I'm the one laughing because we're feeling better. And that's all that matters. That's all I care about is making you well. <laughs> don't care how stupid I look. If I have to look completely ridiculous in, in the name of making you well, cupping fake penises and making strange noises, I'll do it. I don't care. Right, we're going to go to the left hand side of your body. Your left, your left, your left. Your left is your spleen, and the spleen is about integrity and trust and the path of righteousness. This is about you trusting people, then people betraying you, people letting you down, people being shitty, okay, and then leaving you thinking, oh my God, I thought you were really nice, and you're actually really not nice at all. We're going to let go of that as well. We're going to let go of all those nasty people and all those nasty toxic situations that have happened in the past. We're going to let go, let go, let go. Whoa. this this is the best exercise class i have ever done in my entire life this knocks the jane fonda workout which i used to do when i was a teenager out of the sky this is the best how good are you feeling right now your body's just going yes let's just go with it right let's just go with it not a brindle come on let's do it right your right hand side your right hand side your liver your right right anybody that has pissed you off anybody that has been nasty to you that has angered you frustrated you anybody that stood in your way anybody that told you you're not good enough to do something anybody that's forbidden you any situation that's blocked you anything that's left you feeling resentful or angry or frustrated that's the liver energy and that's what we're going to let rid of because that does not serve you in fact that is the most toxic of the lot and this is why we have to forgive but we're going to get to that later right now we're going to let go let go let go it's a big old organ we're going to let go let go of the anger let it go and shh 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 some classic pictures here jules shh Stop it out. Right, we're going to calm it down a little bit now. We go to our gentle little kidneys. <laughs> I know you've got too many pictures. We'll spam Instagram at this very crazy, crazy way. Do not whack your kidneys, please. The kidneys just get a little bit of a squeeze. They're nice, gentle little organs. They don't like too much bashing around. So go to the lower back, just here. This is about fear. If anyone has frightened you or any situation has frightened you, worrying about money, having a roof over your head, your job, children, husbands, partners, wives, anything, you name it. If anything has created fear in your body, that is the kidneys. And we're going to get rid of the fear because we're going to bring in the learning from the fear, which is wisdom. So right now, get rid of the fear. Now, 
This bit of the body, this is the he sound. This is the circulation, okay? This is how the body talks to itself. So if anyone's been holding on to any of those feelings for even remotely, even since yesterday slash their entire life, probably in most of our cases, this is the time to change the language of the conversation. We're gonna let go of that discourse that's going on inside. He, 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 I don't, do we want these going on IGTV, Jules? I'm not sure if I actually want this to ever see the light today. Anyway, right. Check into your internal world. How are we feeling? Okay, now we have just managed to just get rid of a load of stuff. Get it out of the window. Get rid of it. Thank you so much, body. It served me well. It served you at the time. It really did. The body imposed all these things because it was protecting you and keeping you alive. But now we're going to nourish it through with our higher selves. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to laugh in the face of adversity because that's what we need to do we need to shake it all out and fill the first thing we're going to fill our body with is happiness so are we ready are we ready with our timer because we are going to fill our now empty cup with happiness because what better thing is there i know this is great it's not I'm like, Whoa, this is the best exercise i'm ready go <laughs> all the lovely healing sounds. <laughs> I've turned into a happy clappy. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Surely that's a minute. <laughs> I'm sure this is the last laugh, which is you're making it longer than a little bit. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> How do we feel? <laughs> Woo, okay. Right, well, that's the purge done. I think we can tick that box. I'm absolutely like literally like a menopausal woman over here sweating away. Right. Now, welcome to the first half of the class. <laughs> Now, check in to one, two, one. Now, we're going to nourish, okay? So, how do you feel? That's a proper workout, okay? No, none of this, like, wishy-washy stuff going on over on this Qigong class. No, 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 no. Right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to now, we've got endorphins flooding into the body. We are going to really go into the higher self. Now, Mad Woman Katie is now going to calm down. Ah, oh, Jules is going to go, oh, I'm glad you love it. I love it. This is the best class ever. I'm so Joe Wicks has got nothing on us. This is brilliant. <laughs> right then. <sighs> okay, now remember to breathe. Remember to breathe down in the dantier. <laughs> Thank you, Kelps. Right, we're going to use our fingertips and we're going to go to our higher selves. Now that we've created space in our bodies and in our hearts and in our organs, we have possibility now to bring in our higher self. So we start now with gentle tapping. Now this is where people who are not feeling too great, this is actually where we start with you, okay? We just start with gentle tapping like this. We're going to think of courage, of our convictions and gratitude. And remember these things for the rest of the day because we've created space now for you to spend all day working within the or orbits of these higher vibrations. And you can do it all day. Remember, gratitude and courage of your convictions.
fibromyalgia, just use the tapper and download the spleen fact sheet. That's what fibromyalgia is, it's spleen chi deficiency and the blood and chi aren't getting into the muscles properly. Zzz, Jules, what's the topic today, by the way? Zzz, which of course I've totally forgotten to do. <laughs> In the hilarity, I have to think about when to do it. What's the topic today? Otherwise, I'll do fibromyalgia. Go to your heart. This is, this is, I thought oh, you texted me. I didn't read the text, did I? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't read the text. I was getting ready at breakneck speed and I was about to be late. <laughs> Vertigo. Thank you, Catherine. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> Didn't need to turn into an I told you so. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Right, um, Vertigo, thank you. Okay. Our hearts. <laughs> Just stop rolling your eyes at me in the middle of a class. <laughs> I was trying to be my higher self here, you know. <laughs> Now there's a good quote. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to be my higher self. Right. I've just got rid of all that energy out of my liver. I don't want to replace it now, thank you. Let's go to the hearts. This is universal love. This is love for jewels, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This is love for yourself. This is the joy of life and the joy of being in the community of the people around you. And then, of course, there's a hu in humanity. But let's just start with ourselves, shall we? Uh... I said it was urgent because I needed to tell you that's the only urgency. Actually, that's not true. The reason it's urgent is because it's a five-step plan for everybody, okay, which makes sense of what we're doing. That's why it's urgent. It's for everybody on the feed. It's not for my benefit. Right. Go to your spleen now. This is about integrity and the path of righteousness and having um, basically taking the hard path, which is the right path. It's not always the easy one, but it's the right one. Always leads to spiritual development and leads to a happy, happy you eventually. Whoa. to your right hand side this is your liver this is now about kindness and compassion and above all forgiveness now we've let go of all of the anger and the frustration it's about bringing in forgiveness and kindness Go to your kidneys. This is about wisdom and having the wisdom to know what to do to take out of a situation.
and then up and down on the fire. This is this is love and joy. He one if not just use your two fingers just hold breathe be grateful forgive be kind be compassionate and tap the top of your head notice my lovely hairband which is made by one of our lovely ladies who's got her own little business so please support her it's up on the stories yeah, now, what we've now got is these lovely high vibrations working in the body. Now we are in a really good place. Check in, notice yourself. Isn't this lovely? A lovely, zingy, alive thing. All that negative energy has gone. That pulls down the energy. We don't want that. This lovely high energy has come in and it's alive and it's clear and it's vibrant and it feels good. And it's going to give you loads of energy all day long. That's what we want. So now stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Put your hands on your hips. Half close your eyes. Breathe to the lower belly, stretch. We're gonna move that lovely energy because we've made the dynamic bit of the class more dynamic. Now we're going to make the restful part of the class more restful. Slow down the breath, smile. Stretch. Just let your mind focus. On the smile in the lower belly. Other way. Breathe and stretch. Come back to centre, keep your eyes relaxed, lift the sky, pull in, stretch. Breathe out, this exercise calms the liver, calms the endocrine system, it's good for thyroid, Food cravings, depression, low mood, agitation. It's important to look after your liver. It's a huge organ. Smile down into the lower belly. Breathe slowly. That calms the heart rate. 
slows the lungs, you slow the body right down, calming the body, allowing this energy to go into every cell of the body now. This beautiful energy that we've created, we've let go. Change direction, breathe in. Notice how soothing this exercise is on the body, so relaxing. Breathe in. You might notice also, because we've done this crazy dynamic at the beginning, how blissful these exercises feel. Because the body's really just lapping up this gentle flow that we've now got. So let's just go for that. Right. Now, breathe in and keep breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Put your hands over your tummy. Clockwise, circle that beautiful energy down into this dantian. This is the energetic center of the body. Everything we've just been making, we whack it into this place. It's like the oven. <laughs> Pop it in the oven and then the body will deal with it in amazing ways, okay? Breathe. Remember these lovely high emotions that we're now in. That's where we're going to be for the rest of the day. Remember what you do today shows in your body tomorrow. This is an investment in our futures as much as it is allowing ourselves to have a wonderful present moment, which is what we're doing right now. Now take your hands into prayer. Create some right angles. Let's go into our spinning dragons. Put your hips to one side. Create the S. Imagine that nice S shape, this is the middle of the yin yang symbol, it's the dragon's tail. This is the middle of your body. We are creating the actual S shape of the yin yang symbol with the swimming motion, bringing in the divinity of the dragon, the charm, the prosperity, the divine purpose, how happy we are. 
This is what we need. Smile. body swim up and down the axis of the central flow which is what this is that central aspect of yin yang breathe and smile allow this breath movement to flow every cell organ fascia joint muscle of the body is receiving the smiling energy the breath the vibration vibration is key to healing so is intention and so of all is knowledge which leads me beautifully haha <laughs> into vertigo because the trick to healing 50 percent of the solution is understanding what the problem is in the first place so the thing about vertigo is it's all to do with the liver. So if anyone's suffering from dizziness or vertiginous symptoms, you need to download the liver fact sheet, please, and have a good look at that. The key things to know is that the liver opens into the eyes. And if the liver is out of balance, which most of our livers are, because we are too stressed, and the liver controls the nervous system, and our nerves are shot to pieces because of the pace of life, not to mention the fact that misuse of screens, see this in my opinion is a good use of screens, this is a good use of Instagram because it's teaching you something beneficial, that's a good thing. But if you're flick, 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 like ding, 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 images, da, 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 your eye has to take that information in and process it. Your body is a processing plant. And if the images are coming too fast, it's aggravating the liver. That's why the Chinese like us to look at a view, look long distance and look at a view that doesn't change. Do the opposite. Look at something still, look at a beautiful painting. Look at one thing. Think about one thing, think about the smile. Don't think about a million things. Try and focus today on one thing at a time. My dad used to say, one thing at a time. And he's right, otherwise your poor liver just gets completely overwhelmed. And that then creates an imbalance, which in turn creates fear of heights because the body can't work itself out properly, can't protect itself. Then what happens is the kidneys get involved because the liver is a very big bossy organ. And if it's imbalanced, it tends to draw in other energies. And then of course the kidneys are responsible for fear. And the thing is the kidneys will just stop you. If the kidneys are too frightened, they will simply stop altogether. It's what they do when you get things like ME. You can't get out of bed. It's because your kidneys know that if you push yourself any further, you're just going to, they, they won't be, ever be able to, you'll get to the point of absolutely no return. So they'll stop you in your tracks. Fear of heights, they will just stop you doing it. That's the kidneys. So then you get the, the kidney fact sheet. Just breathe with me now, please. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rub your tummies, smile. So that's the key thing, you've got to look after your livers. So you don't really need me to go into chapter and verse on what to do about your livers because you have a whole fact sheet there telling you what to do. But download the liver fact sheet primarily, it's a liver imbalance, but then also look at the kidney fact sheet because the kidney fact sheet, the kidneys get involved as well. And the key thing is to really look 
at your lifestyle. And I will say what I say all the time, which is do this class, do the meditation, do your jasmine singing bowls, relax the body. The point to healing and looking after yourself now, it's no longer just 10,000 steps and eating five a day. Okay, that is not enough. But you don't have to go overboard either. This is why we have the Hey You Method, because even if you don't have time to do this class and listen to me delivering it to you in person, the Hey You Method has distilled it down for you. So just tap the body every day. Do the rescue breath in your shower or bath. Restore the body, restore. Use the comb on the liver channel and on the dimai to get the liver back under control. Download the liver and the, the kidney fat sheets. Look at the book. It gives you, we've given you everything you need, literally. On Katie Brindle, I literally give it to you for free. You're in the right place. This is, healing is free. You don't need anything at all. All the information is there. All the techniques I do with you every day. That's why it's so powerful. Because I'm not just sending you to an IGTV like that I filmed once. I get up, Jules, Catherine and I, we get up. We get up and we do it with you to help you. But if you want to buy a product and you want to just distill it down to its simplest, simplest, like a toothbrush, that's why you need a tapper and a restorer and a shower gel. It's pretty much all you need. And a comb, ideally, for especially for liver things, because combing's so good for the body. But tapping is the main thing. And that's really all you need to know. Breathe and smile, stretch. Close your eyes if you can, or half close. Just focus your mind on the breath down in the lower body. Breathe and smile. This is a meditation. This is the first step into what we then do at lunchtime. Move and breathe is step one. questions do email us in Catherine's now here very happy to answer questions if we can help you at all with your journeys please send us in your messages with your healing stories anything we can do to help you or have helped you um, if it's okay for us to share things with others it really helps the community to understand These exercises are really helping us. The lady yesterday who'd suffered from terrible migraines lives locally to me. We must meet up. And how important it is to keep the energy flowing, comb the head, tap the head, not obviously when you have a migraine, but to prevent them. It's heat. So again, it's a liver syndrome, but instead of coming out as vertigo, it's coming out into the head. And then it gets stuck. To clear it, purge and nourish. I can't say it enough. There's two simple truths. Whatever your symptom, I'm going to say this to you actually. Let's start tapping. Whatever your symptom, whatever symptom you have right now, whatever the pain is, I just need to reinforce to you that the treatment is always the same. The body, you need to purge out that which doesn't serve you and you need to nourish with goodness to enable the free flow of circulation around the body. Any condition whatsoever is an, an impediment to that free flow of circulation. That's the problem. It doesn't matter what your problem is, that's the problem. If it's fibromyalgia, the chi and blood are not getting into the muscles properly. It's the spleen. Okay, you need to tap a lot. Vertigo, it's the liver. 
more towards the eyes with the kidneys getting involved. Migraine, it's the liver and the gallbladder. It's the gallbladder picking up the problem of the liver, sending it into the head, it's getting stuck. Fat, it's because the heat and the inflammation is being pushed into the fat cells and it's getting stuck. You can't get rid of them no matter what you do, except this works. Joint pain, the body's putting the heat and trauma into the joints for safe, because they don't know where else to put them. Leaches the joints of the chi to put it back into the main organs. It's getting stuck in the joints. That's why the fluids start to dry up. You've got to tap them to get it flowing again. Can you see everything that we're talking about is basically because at some stage or other in the body, there's a blockage because it's not flowing properly. You need it to flow properly and you need it to be full of marbles, okay? Strong bodies are a lot less, a lot, it's a lot harder for strong bodies to get sick, okay? A lot harder. So uh, burping, uh, that's okay. I just burped then actually. That's okay, that's healing, that's good. You want to purge and nourish. You need strong flow of circulation moving freely around your body. If you do that, you're gonna feel better, I promise. I promise, I stand here for free every day giving it to you for nothing. Please listen to those words because I spend days, each day, hours, talking to patients one-to-one, -one, really reluctantly taking their money because I have to be paid, thinking, I'm only telling them what I'm telling you, okay? I'm just telling it to them specifically and they're going, oh, right, okay. It applies to you. I'm talking, I, I can't see you, but I'm talking to you. It's the same principle. It's just about understanding why it's happening. Why? We have to answer the question, why and that's what we're trying to do okay as these fact sheets come on board they'll give you more information in the meantime if you can send us emails and um, Catherine will do her best to help so will I I'll answer the questions on the feeds we'll always do a topic every day we're covering it for you okay we've got your back we're in a community we're trying to help okay we were going to do a book on all the ailments but we decided to give it away for free instead <laughs> we're all about free that's why we're doing fact sheets and you don't have to buy them they're there Okay, so thank you all so much. Do please have a look at the stories that the lovely people that have looked at, sent me this beautiful hairband. I love supporting small companies. Um, I promise you I don't take anything from it. Um, but um, it's as a small business myself, I know how important it is for people with slightly larger followings to talk about small businesses because it helps them grow. And that's what we need right now. We need to support and nurture each other. So if anyone has a small business and would like us to talk about it, we're also very happy to put that up onto our stories too. Uh, we don't expect anything from it. You don't have to send us stuff. We're more than happy uh, to talk to talk to our community about it and just spread the word because that is what the community of Katie Brittle is all about. These lovely people. Thank you all so much. Jules, Catherine, as always, thank you so much. By the way, everyone, Jules and I do love each other, really. <laughs> Have a lovely day. See you at 12.15 with Jasmine. See you at 12.30 for me and see you at 6 o'clock with Danielle.